global warming is real. That's what University of California Berkeley physicist and longtime climate skeptic Richard Mueller admitted in a recent Wall Street Journal piece. Robert Bryce is author of Power Hungry, The Myths of Green Energy and the Real Fuels of the Future and a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. The editorial, Robert, is long, but it essentially comes to the conclusion that temperatures are rising, but is it caused by humans? That Mueller does not answer, and that is the central problem that you have with people who are crying about global warming. Well, Mueller's uh, editorial on the work that they, he just published I th is interesting, but I think it, the key point amidst all of this discussion about temperature rise and CO2 uh, that is missing is that uh, if you look at the last decade, Dagan, uh, what, what was the environmental issue of the last decade? It was clearly that uh, the issue of CO2. We had the multiple IPCC reports, the big meeting in Copenhagen. We had Al Gore with an Inconvenient Truth winning an Academy Award, uh, winning an Emmy, uh, winning a Nobel Prize. Uh, but what happened over that last decade? Global CO2 emissions rose by 28.5%. Um, and, and why is that? Because countries all around the world, China, India, Malaysia, Vietnam, South Korea, Iran, Saudi Arabia, are coming into the modern world, and they're burning more hydrocarbons, and they're going to continue to do so. So essentially, unless you target and slow those economies and say you can't grow and develop in the way, say, the United States did in the previous hundred years, you're going to have rising CO2 emissions, period. Well, that's exactly it. And, and another way to think about this, Dagan, is that it, now we have global CO2 emissions at about 33 billion tons. Uh, if you just look at the top five countries uh, that increased their, CO, their nominal CO2 emissions over the last, five, uh, last 10 years, China, India, Saudi Arabia, Iran, South Korea, they accounted for about 80 percent of the rise in CO2, over 7 billion tons. So to put it one other way, over the last decade, U.S. CO2 emissions could have gone to zero and yet global CO2 emissions still would have gone up. So this idea that somehow the U.S. is the problem or we have to lead is just fundamentally wrong. Do we not get enough credit, and I mean we, the United States and everyone else, of being better at, at say, turning energy into useful power? We have made great strides in that, have we not? Absolutely. And this is a critical point that um, we hear all the time, oh, the U.S. wastes tremendous amounts of energy. We use too much. If you look at the data, and the data is very clear, um, over the last two to three decades, the U.S. in terms of energy efficiency, in terms of energy consumed per unit of GDP, we have gotten dramatically better. In fact, in terms of efficiency gains, we're among the best in the world. Um, and But this is what's happening all over the world. We're getting better and better at turning energy of all kinds, whether it's natural gas, uh, nuclear, uh, oil, coal, into use full power, electric power, motive power, cooking power, etc. Robert, it was great to speak with you as always. Robert Bryce, be well. Thanks a million, Dagan. <laughs>